Have you ever had one of those nightmares where you're back in high school and you're going into an exam and you either haven't studied for it or you studied the wrong thing and the exam's on something different? That's a terrible feeling to feel, but that's going to be happening to millions and millions of people, not in their dreams, but in real life because of something insidious that's going on right now. I see it all around us. I see it especially on this platform. This is super important, especially if you are new to prepping and you haven't really tested out a lot of your stuff. You need to listen to the message in this video. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video what I want to talk about is how to prepare for something that you've never personally experienced before. Now this is something that certainly applies to all of us, myself included, but specifically I want to talk about people who are new to prepping and have a lot of gear and knowledge, book knowledge, uh, you know, maybe some skills that they've picked up, but they've never really been put to the test. This is what I want to talk about in this video because I see a lot of problematic uh, content here on YouTube and a lot of problematic messages uh, going out uh, around the world uh, on mass media and I think that it's going to be like I talked about in the opening where a lot of people feel like they've studied for a test but then when it actually comes time to uh, you know take the test they're going to realize that they studied all the wrong things and they're completely unprepared and that's going to be a horrible feeling for it not just to be something happening to them in a dream but this is happening in real life to themselves, their families, their children. So I want to talk about that in this video. This is a topic that I think is very uh, important and interesting, I think, but it's not very visually interesting. And as I oftentimes do here on my channel, what I want to do is uh, go on a visual tour here of the homestead. I live out in the woods, pretty far removed from most people. Uh, we're in New England here. It's autumn time here. So we're going to be doing a walk through the woods in autumn here in New England. Beautiful time of year and beautiful time of day. Uh, it's morning time uh, right now. And I just walked down to the stream. Uh, you know, it's very misty down there. There's a lot of wildlife. It's a beautiful, beautiful time of day. And I hope that you can uh, appreciate some of the beauty that our world can offer while we talk about some very serious topics uh, relating to some of the darker sides of things that are in our world. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Now, what got me thinking about this? Well, the reason I'm thinking about this right now is this morning I woke up kind of early. I was doing some computer work, and as I oftentimes do while I'm doing computer work, I'll listen to uh, you know some content on YouTube, some informational material. Uh, in this case, I was listening to a, uh, a fellow YouTube prepper host uh, talking about some uh, uh, news that's going on uh, at the moment. Uh, as the video finished, instead of me going over and uh, queuing up a new video, I was kind of in the middle of a task and YouTube automatically kind of rolled to the next thing. And the next thing was other, some other sort of quote unquote prepping related content. And uh, it really caught my ear uh, because the person speaking sounded like they were uh, delivering lines from a prepared script. Uh, it sounded very clean, very polished. Uh, and I popped over and I took a look at it and it was beautifully shot. Uh, you know, it was very nicely lit. Uh, the, 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 the set was all composed. Uh, there was what we call here in the industry, I, I work in the film and television industry, uh, mise en scène, which is, uh, you know, uh, prepping the set with various articles that kind of reinforce the message of what's going on. Uh, but what I was really struck by is the greenness of the the message that was being delivered. The person that was speaking these words uh, clearly, or at least it seemed clear to me, uh, that they've never actually done any of these things. They've never actually tried any of these things. And when they actually started pulling out uh, you know, items and products that they were uh, pitching in the video, because that was a big part of, of this one particular video, is you, you need this thing, you need that thing, you need this other thing. Uh, you know, products, items, and there are all these Amazon links in the bottom. And I use Amazon links here on my channel as well. I'll oftentimes, if I'm talking about a product, I'll put an Amazon link down below. Uh, one of the reasons that I do that is people find it convenient. People oftentimes ask me for a link uh, to what I'm talking about. And the other reason is that if you, uh, on my channel, if you click through one of those Amazon links, uh, it helps to subsidize my channel. It's like if you buy, you know, X number of dollars, I get a few pennies, uh, and it helps to support the work that I, I do here on this channel. Although if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm very quick to criticize <laughs> products. And I'm always talking about, you know, uh, the, the less you need, the better off you are. You can make stuff out of garbage. You know, uh, 
I'm always advocating for the idea that you can't buy your way out of trouble. But a lot of these new prepping channels, uh, and I don't even know if they're, they're all new, uh, because a lot of these had tons of subscribers, and maybe they've built themselves up really quickly, uh, you know, overnight with a lot of marketing, or maybe they have been around for a while. But it was very clear to me that the people that were running these channels, or the people that were uh, the face people on this channel, I don't know if that's the person that was running this channel, it might be, you know, created by a company and this is like a spokesperson, uh, it was very clear that they had never actually experienced any of what they're talking about and that they had never really used a lot of the devices and tools that they were advocating for and that was really confirmed when they started lifting things up and showing people this item and that item and there's not a scratch on any of these things and these are the types of things that you'd be using uh, you know outside or you know if you were camping or something like that and these items look like they were pretty much right out of the box I could almost smell uh, the, the, you know, the, that new plastic smell of a, of a new product that was on these things and I think that this is tremendously dangerous to a lot of people because it is giving people the illusion by listening to these very popular channels and, and not every popular channel is you know falls into this category you know just because, because a, a channel has a lot of subscribers that does not mean that the person uh, you know hosting that channel doesn't know what they're talking about but there are there are an awful lot I, I, I kind of continued down the rabbit hole and one after another after another there were just all of these hosts that we're just kind of parroting back things that I think that, you know, some uh, research assistant or like a production assistant uh, for, for this production had kind of researched, they went to like some website and it's like, uh, you know, these are the five things you need to do, a a X, Y, or Z. And there, there, was, there wasn't any tactile sort of sense that any of these people had actually engaged in any of the activities that they were uh, discussing. And some of the uh, advice that they were giving, um, I'm not gonna say that it was wrong, but it was very incomplete. Uh, you know, they, they would suggest, you know, you should take, uh, you know, uh, this sort of an action if you're in this sort of uh, circumstance, but they don't talk about any of the uh, corollary uh, knowledge that you really need to know that kind of go along with that. One example is that one of these spokespeople was talking about the idea of emergency antibiotics, the idea of having a store of antibiotics in your house if you ever needed them in an emergency when you can't get to a doctor, you can't get to a hospital, and someone in your uh, family or yourself has a, an infection that can only be treated that way. Now that is, that is a very serious topic, that's a very important topic, and it's an important topic to address. Uh, the best answer that, to that that they had was you should go to your doctor and ask them if maybe they might possibly prescribe you some antibiotics for emergency use and they suggested worst case scenario they say no and they left it at that there is so much more to be known about that if you are somebody that is just coming to prepping and you go to a channel like that and you hear someone who is uh, presenting themselves as somebody who is an authority somebody that has knowledge on this you're going to think that you're your only route there is to ask your doctor, and if they say no, you're like, okay, I guess I can't get any. But that's not the end of that story. There are so many other things that you can do, and if this host had had any experience, they would have told you right off the bat, in the past couple of years, there are new companies that have come out that are specifically offering emergency medicine. One of them is Jace Medical. I've actually become an affiliate with them. I'd engaged with them uh, in you know, business transactions a couple times in the past and bought some emergency antibiotics through them. Uh, and then they'd approach me and ask me if I wanted to be an affiliate. And what that means is, well, and I'll just do it. There's a link down in the description below. If you click on that link to get a uh, pack of emergency antibiotics, so if you ever needed them, you could have them. Uh, I, I think I get like $15 or something like that. It's a way of supporting my channel by uh, creating these product links below, but it's also a way of getting people in uh, touch with the, uh, the assets that they would really like to get. But even prior to that existing, there are other ways of getting emergency antibiotics, and they still exist. And one of those is going through uh, you know, pet uh, pharmacies. Uh, you can get fish antibiotics, and in my experience, and I have literally used them before on myself, they work just as well as any antibiotic that you're going to get for human use. Penicillin is penicillin. Doxycycline is doxycycline. Uh, and, uh, you know, whether you're buying it for fish or whether you're buying it for humans, they have the same properties. And, uh, you know, I can tell you from experience, I've used them before on myself and they have worked. And that is context that you are not getting from these really popular, really well-trafficked prepping websites that are doing people an enormous disservice by just giving them a thin veneer gloss of information and calling it a day at that, and people who are using the knowledge of these hosts and thinking that they are solving their future problems are really doing a disservice to themselves because they are preparing in a very thin, 
very unidimensional way for a problem in the future that would be anything but thin and certainly not unidimensional. There are massive challenges coming ahead in our future, and it is really important to prepare for them right now. And the idea that there are massive challenges coming in our future is, it's hard to imagine that it is even controversial at this point. Even the people that don't prepare for anything are the same people that are talking about the idea that climate change is ravaging our planet, is making extremes in temperature, in weather, in flooding, in wildfires, in storms, in famine, in uh, you know flooding of fields. What do people think is going to happen when the climate change that they say that they believe in causes famine on levels that we've not seen before, that people are warning is going to be the case. What do they think is going to happen with people? That people are just going to be like, oh, well, we'll all just share everything and I'll have only eat half as much. No, that's not the way people work. What is going to happen when the energy that people talk about, you know, fossil fuels dwindling and dwindling and, you know, all the cheap fossil fuels have pretty much been already tapped and we're just getting into those expensive fossil fuels that take a lot more energy, a lot more money, a lot more time and effort to get at. You know, what is going to happen when the energy that people are talking about dwindling does begin to dwindle and it is already, already beginning to dwindle? Is everybody just going to be, oh, okay, well, I'll only drive half as much and yeah, here, I'll share with you. That is not the way people are. Food is becoming scarce, energy is becoming scarce, and the way that people deal with scarcity, historically, if you believe in history, and you believe in education, and you believe in learning, and you believe in learning from our lessons of our past, the way people deal with scarcity of any kind of critical resource is war, and fighting, and violence, and darkness. What kind of a future do you think is headed our way? We have huge problems headed towards us. If you believe in history, if you believe in science, if you believe in the news of the day, you have to accept that. And the only way that people are going to improve their lot during those situations is by preparing for them. And the only way that people can prepare is if they have accurate information and wisdom. And you don't get that from a script that was written by an intern, you know, in 15 minutes by, you know, searching a couple websites. You don't get that from a host that just got out of makeup and has never actually touched any of the you know, items or practice any of the skills that they're talking about. The media is doing a major disservice to people by pretending that they are getting people ready for something and leaving them anything but. When you are looking for information out there, figure out whether the person who's delivering that information to you has ever actually done any of these things before. Because in theory, things can work out really great, but when the rubber meets the road, that's when you find out what really works. And even the skills that have worked time and time again, in a new situation, who knows? You need multiple ways of doing things, multiple ways of thinking about things, and the ability to problem solve based on your experience and your ability to keep cool in a situation that is anything but. I hope you found this video helpful. But more than that, I hope that you have the ability and the time and the enthusiasm to go out and start getting some of this knowledge for yourself and practicing these skills for yourself because just buying an item and putting it on a shelf does not solve your future problems. Just reading about something in a book and never actually taking your own two hands and you know finding out where you're going to get gouges on them and where you're going to get sliced and where you're going to fail is going to set you up for major disappointments in the future. And it's so much better to have those disappointments and have those frustrations and have those learning experiences now when the stakes are lower versus in an emergency situation where your life and the lives of your family and your children depend on you being able to perform at 100%. That's it, good luck, and thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.